The New South Wales Government has worked with the University of New South Wales to produce regional climate projections for New South Wales to 2070 down to a resolution of 10 kilometres. This has provided us with very important information of future changes to temperature, rainfall and fire weather and allowed us to understand more about what future climates might look like. The latest impact research looks at future changes to heat waves and urban climate, water storage and runoff, bushfire risks and also risks related to soil erosion and soil properties which are of interest to land managers and farmers. We know water is one of our most precious natural resources. You know, it's vital to our life, simple as that. Over the next 20 years, surface water runoff and groundwater recharge is not projected to change that significantly. However, in the next 50 years plus, it's likely that groundwater recharge and surface flow will increase across most of New South Wales. And this is due to the higher rainfall patterns. Soils are the basis of all plant growth on Earth and that's why it is so important that we understand how these soil properties are changing. The three very important soil properties that we've considered in this study are soil organic carbon, pH and quantity of key macronutrients. It is telling us that there are small but potentially very significant changes in many soil properties across New South Wales that really have to be considered by our farmers and our managers of our native reserves. Soils are very important to all of us. Soil erosion is irreversible. We are losing our soils at a much greater rate than they're actually being formed. The increases of erosion in the future due to climate change will actually make that difference bigger. That will affect our long-term food security through agricultural production, as well as off-site environmental impacts through water quality and sedimentation. Heavy rain that falls in a very short period of time during a severe storm is a major driver of soil erosion. If the rain is heavy enough, the soil cannot absorb the rainfall, it flows across the soil surface, taking with it a layer of topsoil which is rich in nutrients and organic matter. It can mean less production in land in terms of crop production and pasture production. It can also mean sediments getting into our waterways, lakes and estuaries. The urban heat island effect impacts health through making heat waves more intense, more frequent and longer lasting. This is due to the fact that urban areas have surfaces which increase temperatures of further two to five degrees on average. And in some cases it can be as high as 10 degrees. Sydney is home to over 4.8 million people and over the next 20 years urban expansion is going to significantly increase. By 2036 we're expecting that 11% of Sydney will have significant changes to their land uses. Changes in land use have the potential to more than double the increases that will be caused by climate change. Heatwaves can have significant impact on, on humans. For example, they've been estimated to be responsible for more deaths than all natural hazards combined. We know that heatwaves have already changed in the last century. More frequent, more intense, and longer heatwaves in, in much of the, the state. In the far future, these changes are even going to be larger. Not only we're going to have longer and more intense heat wave, but we're also going to have many more days of temperature above 40 degrees Celsius in much of the state. New South Wales has got a lot of forest and a lot of grasslands. Not just that, there's a lot of people living in and around bushland. New South Wales is one of the most bushfire prone places in the world. So the work we've done has been looking at the amount of fuel, which we call fuel load, and also weather conditions. Now both of these are really important for how a fire behaves, how hard it is to control once it's broken out. All of the models we looked at showed the potential for an increase in fuel load. We need to be prepared for a range of futures, including potentially significant increases in bushfire risk. Local councils, businesses, farmers and the broader community can access the information, including the impacts information and the future climate projections via the ADAPT New South Wales website. The earlier we start preparing for these impacts, the better we can plan and adapt to our changing future climate.